welcome to the Missouri Valley Football Conference Extra Point postseason edition. All three Valley teams are into the round of 16 as the playoffs continue this Saturday. More on those matchups in just a second. But first, a look back at the Valley Specialty Awards and more on your all-conference selections. North Dakota State leading all conference selections with 19, highlighted by the Offensive and Defensive Player of the Year. South Dakota State with 11 players and Northern Iowa, Western Illinois, and Indiana State well represented with 10 each. The Bruce Craddock MVFC Coach of the Year goes to Indiana State's Kurt Mallory, who also is a finalist for the FCS National Coach of the Year. Mallory guided the Sycamores to the biggest turnaround in college football. After an 0-11 season last year and being picked last in the Valley, Indiana State orchestrated a 7-4 campaign, third place league finish, and number 22 national ranking. Mallory and the Sycamores finished the season on a five-game winning streak. The Offensive Player of the Year is North Dakota State quarterback Easton Stick. The senior signal caller leads the Valley and ranks second nationally for passing efficiency, yards per attempt, and yards per completion. Stick's 45-3 record is the second most wins in FCS history for a starting QB. He also broke Bison career records for total yards, total touchdowns, and passing touchdowns. Stick is a Walter Payton Award nominee. The Defensive Player of the Year is North Dakota State linebacker Jabril Cox. The sophomore built on his newcomer and Freshman of the Year honors last season and is tied for the Bison lead with 68 tackles and 42 solo stops. Cox is a finalist for the Buck Buchanan Award and has eight tackles for loss, four sacks, five QB hurries, four interceptions, including two pick sixes. The Valley Newcomer of the Year is Indiana State QB Ryan Boyle. The Iowa transfer burst onto the scene in week three and finished the season with more than 1,600 yards passing and 610 yards rushing. Boyle's 62.4 completion percentage leads the league and his seven touchdowns in a triple overtime win versus South Dakota is a school record. Boyle was a big part of Indiana State being the FCS's most improved team and the Sycamore's third place conference finish. The MVFC Freshman of the Year is South Dakota State's Pierre Strong Jr. The redshirt freshman reeled off three straight 100-yard rushing performances to close the regular season and leads the Jacks with 777 yards. 577 of those yards have come in the last three games. The big play threat is averaging 11.6 yards per carry, and all eight of his touchdown runs have gone for more than 24 yards. He had a career-best 253 yards rushing against South Dakota. Looking ahead to round two, North Dakota State's title defense begins Saturday against Montana State. The Bison are 28-2 in the FCS playoffs, having last played the Bobcats in the 2010 postseason, a 42-17 NDSU win. South Dakota State takes on Duquesne, a rematch of their 2017 season opener, won by the Jacks 51-13. SDSU makes their seventh straight playoff appearance and is 4-0 at home in the postseason. Northern Iowa heads to UC Davis following their 16-13 win over Lamar in round one. The Panthers held the Cardinals scoreless over the final three quarters. UNI is making their league high 20th appearance in the playoffs. All three Valley playoff matchups can be seen on ESPN3 with a spot in the quarterfinals on the line. To stay up to date with all your Valley playoff coverage, visit valley-football.org.